Confession time. It's 2022. Where have I been? I have not been on YouTube. That's where I have been. <laughs> no, but seriously, this whole year, uh, 2021 has been such a challenging year. Not just in like fitness or anything like that health wise, but just overall, it's been very challenging. So I think it's been like a well over six months since I made my last video. <clears throat> but with that being said, um, I am ready this year. I just feel like 2022 has taken a whole new turn. I feel like I've been blanketed with like energy, with positivity, with just so many things that I'm excited for, you know? And yes, I can't let October go yet. This is my coffee. In my coffee, you guys probably can't see. It's really light, but I put cream, one Truvia, and some Jordan Skinny Vanilla. It's my favorite. But anyway, so, <clears throat> yes, and I'm clearing of the throat. It's because of the coffee and everything. And this weather here in Michigan is crazy because one minute it's cold, next minute it's warm, and I just feel like... <sighs> okay. So where have I been? So, this past year... There's a lot of things that have happened food-wise when it comes to keto. Now, I have done keto like off and on this past time that I've been off. Uh, basically, more low-carb days than keto. I haven't totally gone off, though, of the health journey because my weight and my the way I feel had kind of been like this. Like, my weight has been like, up five pounds, down five pounds, up four pounds, down three pounds, up one pound, down four pounds. And it's just been going like this the whole time. So basic, basically maintaining. Um, my health. <sighs> so I've been getting sick. Even when like, I mean, there was months, two, two, almost three months that I've done keto straight. And I noticed that I was still getting sick. But I noticed I was kind of eating the same foods over and over again. So I kind of did a process of elimination and I found out there's a lot of foods, recipes that you can make on keto or low carb that have been tearing up my stomach. So cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, unless I cook the heck out of broccoli, I noticed that it doesn't hurt my stomach. Onions, I can't have onions whatsoever. Instant, as soon as I eat it, instantly in pain. Um, avocados, I have been very sensitive to eggs uh, and Brussels sprouts unless I like char them. There's other foods too, but not so much that I eat. Like if I'm trying to stay like low carb and keto. <clears throat> Sorry. Now foods I can eat are like zucchini, like squashes. Uh, asparagus, spinach, uh, like sugar snap peas, <clears throat> bok choy, eggplant, green beans, mushrooms, fresh garlic, kimchi, seaweed, stuff like that I can eat. I'm fine. Now, it's been a over a whole year since I caught the, you know that word that you can't say on YouTube because then they'll flag you. You know, that illness, that virus that's going around. Yes. Back in November 2020, I caught it. And I lost my taste and my smell. And my taste and my smell have not returned, like, 100% completely. So there's also a list of foods that I cannot eat because they st taste like pure rotten funk. There's certain cheeses I cannot eat. I mean... You know, cheeses are funky anyway, but as soon as I take one bite of it, you could just forget about it. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing it up. I cannot have cucumbers. 
Oh my God, I cannot have cucumbers. Carrots, um, anything that's a fake garlic, like garlic powder, like nothing that's like not fresh, I cannot have because it's funky. Um, certain lettuces, I cannot have, super funky. So there's a lot of things that I actually cannot eat still. I did get an antibody test when my one year came around and I still have antibodies. So figure that one out. I don't know. But anyway, so I did a, a process of elimination on foods and I figured out which ones were hurting my stomach and I just cannot have it. Now, with me going back on keto slash low carb because there's a lot of things that I might post that are low carb people probably just a lot of people just do low carb they don't have to do necessarily do keto so this is like a mixture of low carb and keto stuff um there's going to be some bumps and I told myself <clears throat> I'm not doing it and the years passed because I just figured it was just too much for me but I just feel like my whole life I've been doing things that have been stopping me and I'm tired of it. So with that being said, we're going to get over those humps and we're just going to keep going because that's just life. I know when I'm on keto, when I keep it super low carb, uh, I do feel better. My periods are regulated. I don't break out in rashes. Um, before I did keto, I used to have like chicken skin, like the bumps and stuff really bad on my arms. I don't have that anymore. Um, what else? There's a lot of things that has helped me in this journey. And if you look at my videos from way back when, I used to do Weight Watchers. And I love Weight Watchers. I think it's an awesome program. But the majority of Weight Watchers, well, I don't know now because I obviously I haven't gone on there. I mean, I have friends that do it, but I don't ask too many questions. But a lot of it's like fat-free cheeses and a lot of fat-free sour creams because you want to keep those points low or whatever. Uh, I can't eat any of that fat-free stuff because that's what messed up my hormones. For years, I was on Weight Watchers. For years, I had issues with hormonally and as soon as I stopped and just incorporated regular fats uh, good fats everything is leveled out and it's amazing to me so this is what I'm doing and if you want to follow along then great if not that's okay too because it may not be for you a lot of things are not for people you know that's okay But I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired, you know. I feel like that this year is going to be a great year. It really is. Um, also, too, I will be going to the gym. Yes, I got my membership up and going. I got some new workout shoes. So when I do work out, obviously I can't film because they don't allow filming in the gyms. But... I will maybe do clippets of me getting to the gym and what machine I decide to use and how long I was on for. So we'll see how all that goes. Also too, at the end of this video, I do have a before picture that I'm going to post. Um, like I said, my weight hasn't really fluctuated too much. Just like this. It's not like I gained like 10, 20 pounds and then I'm trying to lose it. It's literally been like this. So I'm thankful for that. And that's because there's been a lot of days that uh, I have not done keto, but I have done, I kept it low carb. It doesn't matter what it is. Kept it low carb because people might say, well, isn't keto low carb? But keto, you have to really up your fats and, you know, this and that. And some days I just didn't want to track that was another thing yes tracking so <laughs> so for the past like year I haven't really tracked I will attempt to track for the day and he's like you know what I'm tired of this I've been busy running around doing stuff for everybody else and I don't want to track but this is year for me so I am going to track I'm going to keep everything lined up 
I have my special little notebook. Matter of fact, it's sitting right next to my camera. And we're going to keep track of everything. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, so. So, 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 yeah. That's what we're going to do. But I also want this channel to be more about just keto, low carb, maybe some recipes, grocery hauls, you know, like workouts. I don't want it to revolve around just losing weight, health, stuff like that. I want to do a little bit of everything. So we'll see how that goes. Just keep your fingers crossed. Because I have not a plan. I have not a clue. If there's anything that you guys want to see, you just let me know. We'll figure something out. Two more things. Number one, I did start a TikTok. Let me tell you, I'm kind of against TikTok for a while. And last year, I downloaded it. And let's just say I have a lot of TikTok made me do a little bit. But I do have a TikTok that is Tina Marie Diaries. I haven't posted anything yet on there. I will start posting like things that I try. Like um, I have these lily bars. Um, oh, I was gonna say, I have the Lily Salted Caramel and Cookies and Cream bars that I tried. I actually filmed a video, didn't have any makeup or anything on, you know, but I need to learn how to get over that because, uh, I don't know. I don't think I look that bad without makeup. I don't know. Also, too, I darkened my hair. For those of you know, I love my red hair, my ombre. But what I did is I darkened the ends, I filled them. And then I did like a blue-black over it, but the blue-black literally washed out so quickly. And now you can see the blonde coming back through. So I think what I'm going to do is, like this is nice and all. Right? But this is not me. <clears throat> no, it's too dark. So eventually I'm gonna throw a bunch of highlights in here and get it, ooh lightened up again. I don't know if I'm going to do ombre, but I think I might do a bunch of baby highlights all the way up to the top. And then after I get them a certain lift, then I'm going to do the fashion colors again. And for those that don't know, I have been doing hair and makeup for, this is going to reveal my age, but for over 20 years. Yeah, so I just do everything myself. I do my hair, I color. I don't, I would love to go to a salon, maybe, but I don't love paying the prices when I can just do it myself. Right? Because I know my hair. I know what products I put in my hair. I know what products not to use in my hair. So I just do it all myself. So maybe I'll do a video of me lightening it, like going through a process, like filming it, and then putting it all together. When it goes, I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, there's a lot of things coming on, guys. I just feel like I'm rambling now. But I love you guys. Thanks for sticking around if you're watching this. And I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and let's have a great year. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.